name is Epima Brisinjima. I'm the founder of Moeri and also a shareholder of Moeri PLC. Moeri PLC is a food transformation company and we are focused on the transformation of um, farm producers to semi or finish demo meals, portable food and beef ridges. So um, currently you're here at um, my office in Douala uh, where we do our final production for our flagship uh, product which is called cocoa tea. Uh, cocoa tea is a product that we made from cocoa, use cocoa in the production of tea. Um, this is something that is quite new and unique in the market and um, yes, that's what we're doing and you're welcome to what we do. So our business process is quite uh, long because mm -hmm. I feel like it's a unique product. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. one of the major things that we use in the production of the tea is cocoa husk. And for you to get cocoa husk, you mm -hmm. have to get dried cocoa from the farmers, um, roasted, and then you have to get that balance up. So some of these mechanisms we do not um, get yet own. So what we do is we work with in partnership with other businesses that already roast this and then what we do is we go there and get the hogs, the hogs from them and then we process, take them to a filling. Well, before now what we did was we did hand filling actually, like you would see, we did hand filling where the tea bags were filled individually using teaspoons and all of this was quite hard work and because of, of that we're not able to do up to 50 packets a month. You know, so we had to think smart. So what we now did was we looked for other businesses that have the machines that we need in order to facilitate um, the process. So right now we got to the stage where we are able to do up to 1,000 packages a month, even though we actually have the capacity to do up to 8,000 packets a month. So I wanted to come right in and see one of the, the final steps um, of what we do. Uh, we, we have from purchasing, to grinding, to feeding the tea bags, and then right here, what we do right here is actually putting those tea bags in the boxes and filling those boxes. So I want you to come right in, follow me, as you see how all of that is done. So you're welcome, this is where we, we do all of that work. Um, you know, we were very keen with hygiene, so um, we ensure, we ensure that everyone walking in here, um, respect you know the norms of, of hygiene it will not allow you come here this place is actually will not open so right here what is done is like you will see he, he here is yeah this is mr jaku young so what he does is these are the tea bags already filled um, he now takes them from you know from our from our, um, our box and then fills them each Carton like this is supposed to get 20 bags. So what he does is he counts them, making sure he's wearing a glove, a nose mask, a head scarf, you know, to protect all of this. And then he fills them. And once that is done, we now move to this stage where we have um, a, the, the, the ceiling, the final ceiling, because we also want to protect the boxes. So that when you're buying, you know the boxes are coming directly from us. No one has tampered with it. Um, nothing would penetrate into it after this process so what we do is we have this wrapping machine it's a 3d wrapping machine so what we do is semi-automatic like you see there has to be some manual labor um, accompanied with the ease of um, of the machine as well so this is how we, we do it this is the final stage of how we do it and now it has made us more effective because before um, we didn't have this machine and we, so the, the boxes were not were not were not wrapped and our clients who were consuming the products were kind of were complaining and we all we knew it was important for us to at least get this so this is one of the machines we've gotten so far and that is helping us um to boost our production and uh we definitely uh hoping to get things uh, better like i said we have the capacity we have the raw material um to be able to do up to eight thousand boxes uh, a month. Right now, what we do is 1,000 boxes a month.
Uh, okay, yeah, alright. No worry. Uh, we, do, uh, we don't work throughout the week. We work normally from Wednesday to Friday. And the weekends, we are going off to Grand West. And we go off. And also, we have two hours break every day. After labor, after working, we have two hours break. And if you die there, two hours break, we come back and work. And they will buy five of clothes. So, giving us enough here enough energy to proceed well, if I know we're not overworking our bodies. Then, you see concerning employee safety, when, for example, uh, we're going to transport the raw material from the warehouse to here, we make sure we hire a, a car. So, we don't just go to the road and take a taxi, the, the people transporting us are people we work with, we know. Yeah, we know, okay, as you're going, you come back and nothing happens to you right on the road. So, we are some of the ways that Mori, some of the things that Mori has put in place in order to ensure increased safety. Thank you. Our uh, business has a couple of challenges. Um, number one is the aspect of equipment. As you can see, this is basically the only equipment that we own. And because of this, it's um, quite limiting our production. Uh, like, I, like I mentioned, we, we can be able to do up to 8,000 packages, but because we do not have machine, the machine we're using for sealing doesn't belong to us. So we have to book a time to go use it. So it's not in our disposal. So because of that, we're not able to, to use it like we want to. Um, so those are some of the, 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 the challenges we have. The challenges we have are basically with the machines that we would need in order to get to our full potential because the market is quite uh, is growing. The market, the people are asking for the product and the, the aspect of not having production equipment is really our biggest challenge so far. We need of investors. Uh, looking at the um, growth of the market, looking at the strategies we're putting in place to sell the product, um, has called for us to get more investors. For example, um, we sold in three days, we we're able to sell up to 300 packages using some of the mechanism that we've put in place for marketing strategy. We have more people calling in to be distributors of the product. Of the product. You know, so because of some of these things and also being certified by the National Open Coffee Board, it opens us to more possibilities and a bigger market. And because of that, we're definitely um, looking forward to having investors who come in as shareholders because we do not just want people putting their money, but want people who come in and also bring knowledge to the table and also bring their, 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 their skills, their potential, their network to the table. So definitely we are um, looking for investors in order to grow and scale our business. The Shelma Show has a lot of impact that it will bring to our business. Number one is uh, the exposure that we'll get, we'll get more exposure through the Sherma show definitely also uh, will, will bring a huge impact in our business. Also, us helping us to get the machines that we're looking, we're looking for, a, a filling machine, a grinding machine and a dryer. With these machines, we'll be able to employ three more full staff and um, we would move from 1,000 packages to 8,000 to 10,000 packages of production a month. So I think the, I believe this, this, the Shelma show has all of this role to play in ensuring not just our growth, but also the economy, the economy of our nation and definitely the cocoa sector in which we are particular about. So this, this, the Shelma show will bring enormous growth, enormous exposure, enormous possibilities to us and we are grateful that we are part of this and we're looking forward to all the, the, the benefits that we could get from the Sherman Show. Thank you.